So there's one last thing I need to show. It's the archive plugin, which I forgot to show in the um, previous recordings. Um, and as I said before, it allows you to archive uh, recordings. So I haven't got any available at the moment. So let me set up a recording. Uh, let's go to watch TV. And I'll let's go to an HD channel with something nicer to look at. Uh, okay, let's try that one. Right, so I'm going to press R to record this, let it record a little bit. I'll come out, go to the media library, should be able to see that there now, yep. Um, I'm going to stop that recording now so I can go to manage recordings, upcoming recordings, press enter on that, stop this recording. So that's set it as failed because it hasn't been allowed to complete correctly, but there's now a recording that I can watch. So, and you can see I can fast forward and rewind. So I'll come out of that and now I'm going to archive that. Uh, before I do show that, I'll just show you the location where that has been put, which is that VAR Myth TV recordings that we created and got mounted. There's all the other recordings of live TV that are due to expire. But the one recording that is on the list is this one here because it's got a PNG file. It's got the thumbnail for previewing in the in the viewer, and you can see that's. If I put the time up. That's the current time, 10:47. It's just a minute ago. So that's one. But imagine if you've got hundreds and hundreds of recordings, it's going to be very hard to pick out um, the correct file from here. This is basically the channel number, year, month, date hour, minute and second that the recording started or finished. I can't remember now. I think it's the finish time. So if I go back to Myth TV, go into setup, look for media settings, which is there, archive file settings. And this is the bit where it needs a destination for the um, archive file. So for example, I could put it in uh, the Myth TV's home directory, but you might probably want either a separate directory where you've either mounted an external drive or perhaps a network drive where you might want to take it off the uh, Myth TV machine to further process maybe. So I'm going to keep it at that, that place there. Select OK and press Escape, save and exit, go back to the main menu. Go back into optical disks, archive files, create an archive. You can see now it's um, gone into the menu. And here's where you can actually write uh, your own DVDs. Um, but I don't want to do that. So if I click right, press the right button, you can see an option for file comes up. And what I want to do next is to tab down. You can make an ISO image out of the... <clears throat> Uh, program if you wish, but I just want the raw file, so I'll click next, tab to add recording, press spacebar. Now here's where you'll get all the recordings that uh, exist on your uh, Myth TV system. Obviously there's only one, the one that I just recorded. Just press spacebar there to select it, tab down to OK, and you can see that all the recordings that have been added are listed at the top. So that's okay. You get this little bar graph here which shows how much um, space is available um, and how much is going to be taken of that space. So because the file is only a few minutes long or a few seconds long, uh, it's actually only 18 megabytes, which is nothing. But if it was a significant chunk of the available space, you'd see a bar graph here showing how much space would be, 
would be taken up. So just tap to next, press the space bar and that will start archiving and it will be almost immediately immediate because it's a tiny file. And that's it, it's finished. As long as it says native archive job completed OK, you know that the um, file has been archived. Click on exit and that's the file archived. It still remains on the disk on the system. Go to media libraries, watch recordings, it's still there. Um, but if we go back to the prompt, if I log in as Myth TV user, Uh, right, where is it? It hasn't put it there, which is rather strange. Let's try that again, see if I did anything wrong. Optical disks, archive files, create archive. This bit is it. Select next, add a recording, check the recordings that you want. Click OK, tab down to Next, and the file gets archived, and it's done. Exit, and I'll go back to the prompt here, become Myth TV, and it's my cell, yep that's better, there it is there, Love Bytes. And there's the output that you get. So you get the original transport stream file. Oh, I've got a cursor on there, didn't install GPM. Uh, you get the thumbnail and you get an XML file with all the meta information about the program itself. So that's it, all about the archive plugin and getting it to work. So thanks for watching the video and appreciate a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more about my videos. Goodbye.